Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how I go ahead and take myself portraits. I feel like this would be a good video for all my creative people out there that want to spice up their selfie game. Honestly, I feel like the reason why I get so extra with it is because I went to school for fine art, so um just naturally i'm a really creative person so i like to have fun with it but anyway i hope you guys enjoy this video with a little behind the scenes so i mean that's it for this intro so <laughs> let's get to it perfect Hey guys, good morning. Today I'm going to show you guys exactly how I go about taking some creative um, Instagram pictures. The reason why I'm showing you guys this is because you don't need a fancy camera to <laughs> create some good imagery. So I know most of you out there probably have iPhones um, and ed editing apps like that. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and use today. I have a really cute theme in mind, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready, do my makeup, wash my face, all that good stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys behind the scenes of how I get my imagery from a concept or idea to an actual thing, so <laughs> just stay tuned. I just thought this would be fun to do for you guys, so hope you guys enjoy. Lighting really sucks here, oh. but um, I just like have my hair kind of damp because the way this unit looks, it has like a really nice um, body wave, so that's what I'm going to use, and hopefully y'all can hear the music in the back, but um, I'm probably just going to speed this up because obviously you're going to want to probably do your makeup if you're having a photo shoot, so... so I'm just about ready I'm putting on my lashes I wanted to show you guys how just how dramatic they are this is what they look like they're from Siren Beauty and like as you can see right now I look crazy I'm about to put these lashes on and turn into that bitch just look at the before and after oh my god I look crazy with these on all right, I know this isn't really a tutorial, but for my hair, I'm using this olives oil, um, olive oil <laughs> shine spray just so that this hair looks nice and healthy, luminous, all that. So I'm just going to slide some of this in. 
It's also a heat protectant too. Um, very lightweight. But I would say if you have straight hair, it may end up looking a little bit greasy just because of how thick the oil is. Um, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and add a couple nice natural waves into this. I just burned my forehead. All right, so I'm officially done with my hair. Um, the only thing I have left to do is put some lips on. Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange my living room look really quick so I can hurry and uh, get this stuff where it needs to be. But I will check back in with you guys in just a sec. All right, guys, so excuse Willow's mess over there. <laughs> but this is what it's looking like. I'm using my big window in my living room as a natural light source. And then I went ahead and put um my backdrop stand with a white sheet well it's a white backdrop but you could also get a white sheet instead if you guys don't have a backdrop or a backdrop stand just get a white sheet and put it um on your wall and scrunch it up a little bit and it'll do the same exact thing but we're using natural light today this is the final look on makeup. This is how it turned out. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys set up right here. I am going to be using my iPhone to take, to take um, these photos. So what I'm going to do is probably just keep it in portrait mode. Um, I might screen record a little bit just to show you guys like exactly what I do. But I do set it on timer. Okay, so it's on portrait mode right now. I'm going to screen record for you guys. Um, I'm going to go hit the down menu and hit timer. I think what I might do is sit it for 10 seconds until I like get what I really want. Um, for the aperture, uh, I'm going to lessen it just a little bit, probably around 8, just because I don't want it to be too overly like processed looking. You know when it just looks so artificial? <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and sit my phone up probably right around here. You guys really can't see, sorry. Um, let me get a better angle. I feel like I'm not really getting good angles right now. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I'm going to just do a hyperlapse so you guys can still kind of see what I'm doing. Alright guys, so I just want to jump in here real quick. Yes, I'm using a hookah to hold my phone. You gotta make it work somehow, girl. So, um, as you can see, I'm just going to town, taking a bunch of photos, all that. Um, and I'm using portrait mode during this, so I'm gonna go back to that in just a moment about portrait mode, but um, as you can see right here, it makes it look very, very nice, very natural. That sunlight is just getting my skin popping. And before I forget, I do want to give a special shout out to the account Love Yourself. They have been commenting on every single one of my videos recently. And they are definitely part of that notification squad because they be commenting within the first like 30 minutes. So don't think I don't see you, girl. I appreciate you. Like for real. So if you guys haven't already, <laughs> be sure to go ahead and subscribe and show your girl some love. 
Um, but back to what I was saying about portrait mode. So one little tip I want to give you guys is it's great for exactly what it says, portraits. But you'll see in just a little bit, if you're taking photos from further away, you are going to risk the chance of downgrading your image. Um, in other words, your image quality is going to be a little bit pixelated. Now, this is how you'll be able to tell if it's going to be good or not. So on the top of that screen, you can see where it says move closer. So some of the images I freaking loved, but it ended up downgrading my image because it was like trying to compensate. So just a little tip, use the natural, just use the regular camera for images that are far away, but go to town, have fun. And these are the final images. So if you want to see a video of how I edit them, just leave a comment below. Okay guys, that is it for today's photo shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I go about taking my photos. Honestly, this is all like a little extra, so like <laughs> I totally understand if this is just like too much for some of y'all, but um, it really makes a difference, especially if you're trying to get into photography of like taking the time to like do projects for yourself because at the end of the day, sometimes you don't have a model, sometimes you <laughs> don't have a makeup artist, you don't have a stylist, anything, creative director. Um, so if you're looking to get into photography and stuff like that, I do suggest like starting with taking self-portraits. Um, it'll be easier for you to understand what models have to go through um, in order to provide really great images and stuff like that. So um, just in general it's good to be behind and in front of the camera some of the time so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's not in anything like my normal videos that i post but i feel like i really wanted to share this with you guys because it's something super easy that you can do and have fun with it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one